Welcome to section Pyro Python Remote Method Invocation. In this section, we will understand how distributed apps work with remote method invocation and in client server setup. We will learn it through the Pyro module and how to use it for remote method invocation and for writing client server applications. Welcome to the video Pyro as an alternative to Celery. In this video, we are going to introduce Pyro. We will find out what Pyro is, what are its features, and what it can be used for, and we will see how to install it also. Pyro stands for Python Remote Objects. Pyro is a library that enables you to build applications in which objects can talk to each other over the network with minimal programming effort. You can use normal Python method calls with almost every possible parameter and return value types. And Pyro takes care of locating the right object on the right computer to execute the method. It is designed to be very easy to use and to generally stay out of your way. And it also provides a set of powerful features that enables you to build distributed applications rapidly and effortlessly. Features of Pyro. Pyro is written in 100% Python, so it's extremely portable. Pyro supports all Python data types that are serialized, like Serpent, JSON, Marshall, Pickle, etc. Pyro runs on Python 2.7 version, Python 3.x, Iron Python, PyPy. Python is OS and platform agnostic and can work between different system architectures and operating systems. It's able to communicate between different Python versions. It can use IPv4, IPv6 and Unix domain sockets. There are lightweight client libraries also available for other languages like .NET, Java, etc. Okay, so what can you use Pyro for? Pyro can be used to distribute and integrate various kinds of resources and responsibilities that is computational resources, informational resources, business logic, etc. An example would be a high performance computer cluster with a large storage system attached to it. Usually this is not accessed directly, rather smaller systems connect to it and feed it with jobs that need to run on the big cluster. Pyro could be used to expose the available resources on the cluster to other computers. Another uses can be remote controlling resources or other programs. For instance, you can write a simple remote controller for your media server that is running on a machine somewhere in a closet. A simple remote control client program can be used to instruct the media server to play music, switch playlists, etc. For example. Now how to get Pyro? To get Pyro, open your command line program and run the command pip install Pyro 4. This will get you the latest Pyro module as of today. This concludes this video. In this video, we introduced Pyro. We found out what Pyro is, what are its features and what it can be used for and we saw how to install it. 